Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I think I really need to get a new intro because I think it's just gonna be bold. But anyway, today I have a makeup haul. <laughs> I love makeup hauls. I love buying makeup just to even put in a haul. <laughs> So I was kind of wanting to split this makeup haul into a, a drugstore and a high-end makeup haul because I have a mixture of both here but I was like, do you know what, screw that, it's just all gone into the one video. I have products here such as drugstore, high-end, I have a few designer products and I actually have a few skincare products as well so we're just going to get started. Okay so the first thing I got is this Milk Makeup. Um, Urban Defense Face Mask and I actually got this in TK Maxx. If you're from United States it's TJ Maxx whereas here in the UK it's TK Maxx. So this retailed for £22 but I got it for £5.99 and I have used this. The reason I did use this is because it meant that I could actually tell you guys what I think of it and what my first impressions were of this. I actually really enjoyed using this and you get a lot of product in here. That is a lot, a lot of product. This is just a face mask and it is like a gel consistency. So it's actually really easy to apply and it's quite clean to apply. I think I actually kept this on for about 15 minutes. So it actually didn't dry down or it didn't start to peel or whatever. It would just stayed on your face the way you applied it. And then I just like kind of like wet my hands and it just started to go into like a milky lotion. And that was how I removed it. And I did find that after my skin did look you know it looked fine it didn't look any different <laughs> um but my skin did feel like quite soft after using this so i probably will continue to use this i really did enjoy it next a brand new beauty blender <laughs> so i have this tarte skincare like package thing and this is the maracuja magic oil thing i don't really know but anyway this is this is the maracuja magic foundation prep set so basically this is just like a duo and you get the oil and you get a beauty sponge and it's like that and it's actually quite cute and then you obviously just get the wee oil i think that is the cutest packaging ever i absolutely love skincare that comes in really really nice luxurious packaging because i obviously have my, my makeup is obviously stored away so you can't really see it but i do have my skincare on show so i do really appreciate skincare that does look quite nice I haven't tried this yet. I just, I'm not too sure how this is going to go considering it is kind of like a prep for your skin before you apply foundation. Obviously just going to have to give that a go. <laughs> this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 eyeshadow palette and this is what the packaging looks like. It's nice but it's actually not the nicest that I've seen a Tarte eyeshadow palette. They really do put a lot of thought and effort into their products and especially their palettes like these ones and it's alright but mm, I've seen better. It's just like an everyday eyeshadow palette that has your shimmer shades, it has like a few matte shades. No it doesn't have a few matte shades or does it? It obviously has, yeah, it has your shimmer shades and it kind of has like a satin matte shade. So then I got another Tarte package and this is again from like the Sea collection, Rainforest of the Sea. So this is the Tarte Hydrate and Glow Kit set thing. I actually got this on sale, I didn't pay full price for this and I think it was the same of that previous palette. In this kit we always have the facial setting spray, we also have a palette, we have a hydrating moisturiser and one of the Rainforest of the Sea mini lips lipsticks. <laughs> Look how cute that is. That is tiny, I don't actually think it is picking up on camera. How tiny it is, like that's a normal lipstick and that's that lipstick. This is in the shade Island Life. Um, not really a colour I would use, which I'm actually very disappointed by. I didn't actually check to see what colour or what shade the liquid the lipstick was. This is their drink of drink of H2O hydrating boost moisturizer, I'm just guessing. And this again is the packaging. Again, as I was saying, Tarte really do put so much effort into their packaging. It is just absolutely beautiful. 
smells weird. Then we have Rainforest of the Sea 4 in 1 Setting Mist. This is so cute. <laughs> it is absolutely tiny. Obviously, it's a miniature one. I'd is there a full size of this one? I didn't even know Tarte Dawn facial sprays. So this is the design on the packaging. It's just like a mermaid scales type design. <laughs> so this is the Rainforest of the Sea of Volume 3 eyeshadow palette. Whereas this one here I had just shown was the Volume 2. Let me see. Oh. Okay. It's all very, um... <laughs> Peel, <laughs> neutral shades. I have a lipstick in my teeth. When do I never have a lipstick in my teeth? Like seriously. So yeah, as you can see, it's all very pale, neutral shades. These, I would actually use some of these shades as highlights. I wonder, could you even do that? I wonder what the formula is like. Uh, it's actually not too bad, you know. In case you're wondering why I'm not swatching anything, I just don't like watching hauls where people swatch absolutely everything because it's like, come on, I want to see what you got, I don't care how it swatches. So that is them side by side. So I would say you could obviously just use these together as well. This is obviously just your normal sheens. And then obviously this is actually just all shimmers in this palette, which is actually quite nice. These palettes actually remind me of the Becca palettes, although the, the packaging is quite similar, but they're slightly smaller than the Becca packaging and the pans are laid out differently. But I just, the idea around them, it just reminds me of the Becca palettes because I do have a Becca palette like the, this packaging and it's all circle pans and it's all shimmers. But while I was on the website, I just thought, you know what, while I'm here, I'm just going to pick up another Tarte Shape Tip Concealer. This is obviously out of the packaging and this is in the shade Fair. The next thing is a bronzer and this is the Jouer Sunswept Bronzer Duo Palette. And I have to give it to Jouer as well as Tarte. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect packaging. This is the front of the bronzer. <gasps> Could you imagine it was all smashed? Oh my god, I would die. Oh. So this is actually the medium to deep duo. I kind of thought that obviously there is a light one and a medium one. I think oh, there was a dark one. But I kind of thought that the light one would have been too light for me because most of the time I am tanned so then I always graduate towards a darker bronzer even whenever I'm not tanned I always tend to like to have a darker bronzer so I think this one is going to be absolutely perfect for me. Next thing was a lip product and this is the Sleek Makeup Matte Me Liquid Lipstick and that's it there. I think this is a liquid lipstick. Oh yes it is. So it says here this is the Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream and this is in the shade Feels. I might actually swatch these. I just don't like swatching palettes and stuff. It just does my nut. You know like do we care? No. Obviously I picked this up because it was a nid. <laughs> It looked very, very peachy and like a salmon pink nude, whereas eh, I would rather a cool tone nude with more beige brown undertones, but we'll see. I got the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and this is in the shade Foiled again. It's a really bright orange slash coral shade. Love it. Absolutely love it. I love real... <laughs> I love really bright shades like this. Ah, oh, fuck me. Oh my god. See, whenever you have just like simple makeup and just like a bit of mascara or simple false lashes or a wing or whatever, and you put on a lipstick like this, whether it be a bright orange, coral, or a red, it honestly just tops off your makeup. It actually looks and makes your makeup look as if you have spent hours doing your face whenever it's just like nah. This just took me 10 minutes love. I've never tried these before so I'm really looking forward to actually trying them um, because I'm really getting into like velvet slash cream um, formulas recently. I just find that they're so much more comfortable on the lips and they're just far more flattering on your lips throughout the day that they don't just go a bit skanky and stuff. Then I got five liquid eyeliners. These are the NYX Vivid Bright Liners. I, I think I now have every colour in these. <laughs> 
they're very hard to rate in the fact that like they are quite like they're they're not bad they're honestly not bad they do the job and they're very reasonable priced but in saying that oh my god stomach shut up um they do crack so badly although not so badly but they still do crack which is a bit of a pain in the bum bum but whatever. Okay, so that is the liquid liners swatch there, just in case anybody was interested. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter for a Superstar Youth Glow. I doubt that. This is in the shade 3, which is light medium. I don't actually know why I bought this. <laughs> this is just basically like a primer, but apparently it just gives your skin like just like a really healthy glow just before you apply your foundation. Although I would say you probably could wear this alone if you were wanting no makeup makeup days. I can tell that it has gave my skin a bit of a colour, so it is pigmented in the way that it's not just like a glow or a sheen. The next thing is is a blush and this is by L'Oreal and this is their Life's a Peach blush skin awakening blush mm-hmm so my eyes are worn <laughs> oh my god but it's supposed to smell like peaches and yes it smells like peaches if you are thinking of a peach yeah, but there's also a very gone off smell of this. Have you ever smelt damp socks? Damp, moldy socks? Ever been swimming in your life before and you've had your swimming costume or whatever and your towel in a bag for weeks whenever you were at school or something and then you open the bag and you get this waft of stink? That is what this blush kind of smells like and I think the smell of it has kind of gone off. I'm sorry, I have to have another smell at this. Yeah, go into a shop and smell this. Whenever you think of peaches, yeah it smells like peaches but Jesus. And it also smells like semen. So the next thing I got was a setting powder and this is the Beauty Bakery Flower Boom. What is this even called? What is this even called? Is this says flower? Oh, flower! Oh. So, <laughs> so this is the Beauty Bet, right? Flower setting powder, setting powder, and this is in the shade translucent. But for a while there, this setting powder was so hyped throughout Instagram and YouTube and stuff. And every time I went to go and purchase it, it was out of stock and it was just an absolute nightmare to be honest. Um, so I finally got my hands on it and I cannot wait to try this. My favourite powder, setting powder at the minute is the Kodai Airspun. So I don't actually know if it will replace it. Hopefully it does because this was pricey. Like this was pricey. I was like... At the basket! <laughs> and this is the Ofra highlighter in the shade Blissful. I've actually never tried Ofra highlighters before and haven't even swatched this yet. Ooh. That is beautiful. That is actually stunning, although it's not as light as I would want it to be. <laughs> it's actually very dark. Yeah, that's far too dark for me actually. Shit. But yeah, that formula, that actually feels like really, really nice and smooth. And it's so pigmented. It's so pigmented. So another highlighter. This is one I really, really splashed out on. But this is the Frasale Jelly Beam Highlighter. And this is the Jelly Highlighter. <laughs> My, I'm not here today. <laughs> I'm such a lippy loo. Woo! like so fascinating. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my word. You know what? The only thing that scares me about this is what it's gonna be like like over your foundation, powder or whatever. So the next thing I got was the Physician's Formula Butter Blush. This is in the shade Natural Glow. Actually, looking at it, that's really pale. Like, 
what? <laughs> that actually looks like an under eye setting powder. Oh, hold on, I'm just gonna give it a wee swatchy swatch for you. <clears throat> hmm. It's actually alright, it has more of a glow to it than any pigment really, but we'll try it and see. <laughs> the next thing I got was the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer, but I have been wanting to buy this for so, so long, but again, this is one of those products that was so expensive to me. Um, obviously, I've just been splurging recently, <laughs> as you can tell. So I was just like, Do you know what? I work hard. I have been working hard recently and I just thought I would treat myself and buy products and kind of invest in myself. I, that's my excuse whenever I buy makeup. I'm like, I'm invested in myself. I got the shade Light 2 Vanilla, so that's what it looks like there. The reason I actually bought this was because of one of my favourite YouTubers, uh, Shanixo, raves about this all the time, and obviously with it being NARS, I obviously knew that it was going to be a good concealer anyway. Next up is something I really splurged on. So this is actually a Dior highlighter. So this is the Dior Skin Nude Air Luminizer shimmering sculpting powder. I kind of find that whenever you buy like designer products <laughs> the name is so long like <laughs> you know like just call it a highlighter. What's wrong with that? <laughs> but anyway and look at the packaging. Like whenever I got this in the post I was like <gasps> did they send me two? Oh it's very fancy. Oh I've got fingerprints all over it already. It comes with a wee kabuki brush. Okay, so it also comes with the wee pouch. How bougie am I? I am ballin'. <laughs> so the highlighter, obviously it looks like this. That is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely stunning. This is in the shade um, 00004, by the way. It's actually darker than I hoped. For flip sake, it's actually very similar to the Ofra highlighter. Yeah, very similar shit balls so that's it there as you can see it is absolutely beautiful like that design is absolutely stunning no that's far too dark but do you know what that is so like the Ofra one so in camera it kind of looks as if this one is lighter but they're actually in person very much the same Ofra Dior so let me see I'm going to swatch the Dior one here and then the Ofra one. Ofra one is quite, it has more like orangey undertones, like more, more golden undertones, whereas the Dior one has more of like a bronze undertone. But that is not a highlighter at all. Like, if I put, Jesus Lord, if I put that on my face, I'd look as if I got punched. So, this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, and I got this in the shade Bronzer. It must have took them so long to think up that name. <gasps> this is like the medium shade, by the way. I thought these were supposed to smell nice. Well, it does smell nice, but... <laughs> like, how many times have you heard, like, people raving about the smell of these bronzers and, oh, it smells like holidays, it smells like this, it smells like that. Like, I was honestly expecting the smell to, like, knock my wee socks off. I got the new MAC Fix Plus. This is the pink light one. I think the other one's called Gold Light, isn't it? Oh, look at all this stuff that's all gathered at the side. Oh, there's a ball in it too. <clears throat> Do you know what? I actually don't think this is as nice as the Iconic London one. The Iconic London ones look beautiful. But no, I'm so happy enough with this, but I just think the Iconic London one will, is a wee bit more... There's a bit more of a glow with it, if you know what I mean. Whereas I think this is just more subtle. So everybody, this comes to the end of this makeup haul and this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed filming it. And I just love buying makeup to film these videos. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!